In this demo, I will show you how two Spring Boot services, a client and server, can communicate securely using TLS. TLS stands for Transport Layer Security and it ensures that the data exchanged between both sides is encrypted and cannot be intercepted. We will use a self-signed certificate, so I will also explain the role of the key store and trust store and how that changes when you use certificates from Trusted Certificates Authority, CE. To enable HTTPS, the server needs a key store. Key store contains the server's private key and certificate. The private key proves the server's identity and the certificate contains the public key that client used to verify that identity. So when the client access the server, a hand check happens. So they decide which encryption algorithms will be used. They decide the password for that session. So each session will use an own password. So if someone intercepts the password of a preview session, he cannot use that password to decrypt the information in subsequently sessions. Also, the client using the public key will use a task that can be be solved only by the server. At this way, it is ensured that the client communicates with the right server and not with a fake one. In the demo, we create the first project, a Spring Boot application, call it TLS Server. So let's create the first REST controller like this. So it's provide only one endpoint. So until now, this is reachable under the normal protocol HTTP to make it TLS aware, we need to add some parameter. So in the application property file, we define this parameter. So this is the port is the default one. And here you need to specify the key store and we will add it later on the class path. So we have to create this file. I will show you how to do that using the key tool provided by the GDK. Also, you need to provide the passport. I call it passport for demo and the type of the key store, in our case, PKC12 and also an alias for that certificate. So to create the certificate, we will use the key tool provided by the GDK. So I prepared this file and this is the command key tool generate key pair and we define alias and which algorithm, RSA, the size, and the store type, the file name, validity, one year, password, and also you need to provide a name to identify the server. So let's run this command. And as you see, it is a self-assigned certificate. So as you see, this is the command and I added the generated certificate to the class path. So I will just run the server like this. So the server has been now run. Let me show you the log you see here. Tomcat is started on this port. So now we will create the client. I prepared this Java client, a simple one based on the HTTPS URL connection. So all you need to do is to provide the URL for the secure endpoint. Let's run this one. And as you see, we got an error, namely the handshake has failed with this noun error, PKEX, patch or pet building failed. So unable to find valid certification. And this is correct. We need to provide a trust store to the client. So the client is not trusting this service. And for that, from the private key, we will generate a trust store and add it to the JVM globally, or you can add it programmatically in your client using the key tool. I prepared this, this one to export the certificates from the private key. So the private key or the key store contains the private key plus the public key. And for that, we need to extract the public key. So don't make this error to give your the certificate, including the private key. This would be a big mistake. So now let's create the trust store. I prepared this file. So this one will create this file trust store that can be used by the client and it is based on the certificate created from the key store this one contains only the public key so let's run this we can 
do the test again run the script and as you see it has been created again so what we can do you have two possibilities either you add this to globally to your gvm certificate and your program so our what we created here will recognize it automatically we don't need to do anything but this approach could be not optimal so and to understand certificates authority has their public key on all the gvm also the browser has this trust store so therefore your browser recognize it without adding any trust store manually but in our case because we are self-signing this certificate we need to add it manually i did that here i add it to the source and i prepared this class and you need only to set this variable or property trust store password and this is the URL to our service and it should work now. So let's see. And as you see response code 200 and this is the message. So using the trust store, we were able to access a remote service securely using TLS. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and bye.